Hello everyone, welcome back to Ilfo Corfix. In today's tutorial, I will show you how can you create this awesome text logo in Photoshop. Also, I will show you how can you create a logo mockup. You can use this mockup for your future project. I show you all the process to create a stunning logo in Photoshop, and also how to create a logo mockup. I show you all the process and all the tricks so that everyone can create this logo and also the mockup. If you are a beginner you can also create this stunning text logo and also a mockup in Photoshop. Watch the tutorial until the end and learn how can you also create this. And tell me your valuable word in the comment section below. Leave a like, and subscribe if you didn't yet, also be sure to press the bell icon so that you don't miss my any tutorial. So let's start today's tutorial. Now we are here in the magical world of Photoshop. I have downloaded a background image and also a texture image for today's project. I will use this two image to show you how can you create an awesome logo and also I will show you how can you create a mockup for your logo in Photoshop. If you want to download all the image and also the PSD file of this tutorial, just check the link in the description. First, go to the toolbar, and take horizontal type tool. Now click to the middle. Take a name for your logo. I will take PS for this logo. You can take your brand name or symbol. Hit OK. Take the move tool. And place the text to the middle. Go to character setting. If you don't find it here, go to the window. Character. Now you can make all the adjustments to the text in here. Change the text color, choose white, and hit OK. Change the font style into Batman Forever. I will put the link to download this font also. Now we need to rasterize this text layer. Go to the layers panel. Press the right button on your mouse, and select rasterize type. Now press Ctrl or Command plus T, and adjust the font size, also make the text size bigger. If you drag it one side it will make the bigger. But if you press Alt or Option on your keyboard and drag it will make the text bigger in all side. Now adjust the text size. Hit OK. Next. Go to the toolbar and take the ellipse tool. Click and drag. Now if you click and drag you can make any size of this circle but if you press shift on your keyboard and drag it will keep the proportion of the circle. Now create a circle. Change the fill color into none. Choose stroke color white. Increase the stroke size around 20 pixels. Now take move tool. Press Ctrl or Command plus T and adjust the size of the circle. That's OK. Next, we will match the circle with the text, and make this logo more beautiful. Go to the toolbar and take rectangle tool. Go closer. Create a blank layer. Now create a shape to join the circle with the font. Place that shape. Zoom out. Press Alt or Option on your keyboard, and make a copy, then drag it to the left. Match the shape with the text. Press Alt or Option on your keyboard make another copy. We will remove this area so we need this shape. Go closer. Press Ctrl or Command plus T and adjust the size of the shape. Also make the shape bigger to the left. Press Alt or Option again, and make another copy. Take it to the right, and place it. Next, we will remove some area to create that logo shape. First, apply a layer mask to the text and shape layer. 
Now select the first shape layer. Press Ctrl or Command and click to the thumbnail of the layer. It will make a selection. Now select the layer mask. Go to the toolbar, and take brush tool. Make sure the foreground color is black. And remove. Press Ctrl or Command plus D to deselect. And delete the layer. Now you can see we remove this area. We use the layer mask to remove. It's a non-destructive method, you can adjust the shape again. Press Ctrl or Command and click to the thumbnail. Select the layer mask and remove the other side. Next, apply a layer mask to the text layer. Press Ctrl or Command and click to the thumbnail of the first layer. Select the layer mask, and remove. Now press Ctrl or Command plus D to deselect. And delete the layer. Now you can see we create our logo shape. Take the Move tool. Select the first layer press Shift on your keyboard and select the last layer it selects all the layer. Press the right button on your mouse, and select Convert to Smart Object. Now in this Smart Object, you can adjust it later. If you double click on the layer thumbnail, it will open a new document. And now you can again adjust it as you like. Close the document. Next, go to the Texture Image document. Take the image, and paste it to the Logo document. Press Ctrl or Command plus T on your keyboard. And adjust the size. Now press Alt or Option on your keyboard and create a clipping mask. Go closer. Next, we will make color adjustments. Go to the adjustment layer, and take level adjustment. Press the right button on your mouse, and create a clipping mask. Make the color adjustment of the texture. That perfect. Go to the adjustment layer again, and take brightness and contrast. Press the right button on your mouse and create a clipping mask. Increase the contrast, and decrease the brightness. Select the logo layer press shift and select the first layer. Press the right button on your mouse and convert to smart object. Now we will add our final adjustments for the logo. Double click to the layer, it will come up with layer style. Or you can also find it, go to the FX icon, and blending option. First, apply a drop shadow. Increase the opacity, change angle into 90 degrees, adjust the opacity. Apply outer glow. Adjust the outer glow. Now apply the bevel and emboss. Decrease the size, it will add the 3D look on the logo. Adjust the depth. Increase or decrease the depth and see what's perfect for your logo. I think it's perfect for this logo. Hit OK. Now we are done. We create our logo. But you can also use this as a logo mockup. Double click on the thumbnail of the logo layer. It will open a new document. Now, go to the toolbar and take type tool. Take a name. I will take my logo name IPC. Hit OK. Take the move tool. Press Ctrl or Command plus T, and adjust the size. Hit OK. Take the text layer to the down. Clipping mask the texture and the adjustment layers to the text. Close the document. Select save. Now you can see we change the logo, but we keep all the adjustment. We can use this as a mock-up. Open the smart object again. Select the text layer. Take type tool. Take a name. I would like to take my name. Adjust the size. Do the same thing. 
close the document, select save. Now you can see, we are using this logo PSD file as a mockup. You can apply any logo in this PSD file as a logo mockup. If you like to download this mockup you can check the link in the description. Now that it for today. We create our logo and logo mockup in Photoshop. Let's see our final output. Now, I just show you all the process to create this awesome text logo in Photoshop. Also how can you create a logo mockup and use this for your future project. I try my best to explain all the tricks and tips so that everyone can understand this method. Help everyone like this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, you can also check out my other tutorials on my channel. I hope you will also like. Don't forget to tell me what do you think about my tutorials and my channel in the comment section below. Leave a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. Be sure to press the bell icon also, so that you get the first notification of my new tutorials. So that's it for today. See you in my next tutorial. Till then, bye. And the most important thing. Keep learning.